All right now, web hacking. I always thought that uh, web application security is uh, like a blind spot in my skill set. But uh, when it comes to talking about all this stuff and uh, giving examples and uh, demonstrating different vulnerabilities, in fact, the largest volume of uh, knowledge and information I can share belongs to this domain of web application hacking. Uh, maybe it's just because there is a total mess uh, right now in that field and uh, this is the most, by all accounts, the most unstructured and unregulated software uh, domain that is really easy to be accessed by the very young and uh, yet not skillful developers and as a result we have tons of different code uh, produced, most of which is uh, of really poor security uh, level and quality level. Literally, people think that everything works okay if it loads up into the browser. Okay, so this is the main test case. In fact, in, in the reality, this is uh, not always true and correct, right? So if, if it works as the developer expects, that doesn't mean it uh, won't work as uh, the hacker wants it to work, okay? So uh, let's uh, go through this uh, really tremendous realm of different attack vectors and uh, uh, go through all of them one by one. However, um, I must warn you that uh, for this for this section, unlike other, other uh, sections of this video tutorial, uh, you have to know at least uh, the basics of uh, HTTP protocol and uh, web application structure and uh, the means of communication between different web application tiers. Uh, just, uh, just because uh, it is not possible to cover all of that in the reasonable period of time. Okay, so if uh, some things that uh, are in the lecture videos are not clear to you and you will uh, realize that, please please continue to the demonstration section because uh, we will go through how it all works and can be attacked in the demos. Uh, and then if required, uh, please rewatch the lecture videos once again.